Hi, this is Joe Sullivan, sports editor of the Boston Globe, sitting in for Bob Ryan, and this is Globe 10.0. With me is senior assistant sports editor Greg Lee. And Greg Lee, we saw, uh, you know, sort of a, a tale of two halves uh, Sunday night with Kevin Garnett and the Celtics. In the first half, Garnett playing poorly, shooting poorly at the very least. The second half, he comes alive and the Celtics rally from a deficit even though they couldn't quite get over it up. And it seems like what's developing here is that Kevin Garnett is becoming the key to the Celtics. And so, uh, your opinion on that? I mean, does he, you, you think as Kevin Garnett goes, so goes the Celtics, especially in this series? Kevin Garnett has always been the key to this, this Celtics team. He, he stabilized the team with his defensive presence and leadership to win a championship. The year he came back after he got hurt, if when he was playing well, the team played rallied well around him. When Kevin Garnett is at his top of his game, this team can go a lot of places because of his defensive center and that, the way his presence out there on the court, and he exudes confidence in his teammates the way, the way he plays. The, first, the way he played in that first half yesterday, he played like dogs. Your boy tweeted last night, uh, Bill Simmons said, if Kevin Garnett played the way he played in the first half, Charlotte would beat them the whole time. <laughs> so uh, well, so the second, in the second half, that's the, the, in the second half, he played better, and the team played better, and look what happened. The Celtics almost came back to win game one. Well, Doc Rivers said it after the game. This is the matchup he thinks they can exploit in this series, and that's Garnett against Josh Smith. They think they have the advantage. And last and Sunday night they did not have the advantage. Josh Smith outplayed Kevin Garnett for most of the time. On the you know, uh, Paul Pierce and Joe Johnson seem to have played each other into horrible games. They defended right. each other. Neither one shot well. Neither one was a huge factor. And Josh Smith played better than Kevin Garnett. So going forward, I mean do you think that's still possible that Josh Smith could play outplay Kevin Garnett over seven games? Well just on the on, on the physical side, Josh Smith is a lot younger than Kevin Garnett, so he has fresh legs, he could run around the court, he can still dunk, you know, he can still pick and shoot, taking jump shots and run KG around around ragged. But KG still has that wily veteran presence. He can still step up. There's times he could dial it in, but the problem is that he has to do it now for four quarters, not for playing one half decent badly and then the next half I'm gonna play great. He's got to play the entire 48 minutes, like Josh Smith's gonna play the 48 minutes for the Celtics have a chance. Hey, Doc told us this is the matchup they can exploit. So it's up to Kevin Garnett to exploit Josh Smith. So we'll see.